So today I just got a quick tutorial where I'm going to show you guys how I color grade my Canon EOS R C log footage using a log to Rec 709 LUT and DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so now we're about to go over to the color page. I'm just going to take this shot for example to start my color grade. First thing I'm going to do is get my C log to Rec 709 LUT. I'm going to apply that. I'm going to take a look at my scopes. Um, if you don't know how to read scopes, you don't want any of your blacks to get down to zero. And you typically want to try to keep your highlights below the 1033 marker. So after doing that, I'm going to drop my highlights down to get my highlights back. As you can see, if you look at the scopes, whenever I reduce my highlights, I got some more information over here, but I also clipped some blacks, as you can see down here. So I'm going to bring my shadows up to recover that. All right, I think that's good. So now I'm gonna add a new node and bring my shadows back down. And now, as you can see, I can drop my shadows down closer to zero now, whereas before, if I were to drop them they just automatically start to clip like right there as you can see they don't let me take them down to zero all right so I'm gonna just bring that back up all right that's good go back here I'm gonna drop my shadows down and push my highlights up a little bit all right that's looking good now I'm going to add some saturation all right I think that looks good I'm gonna add some contrast using an S curve. All right, there we go. So now we got a graded clip. So this is after, and this is before. After, and as you can see, it already looks really good um, the way it is. So I could leave it like this if I want to, but I am going to go to my hue versus saturation curve use this eyedropper. I'm going to pick this bluish purple color and I'm going to just reduce that saturation a little bit. I just don't like how saturated it was. So I'm going to just drop it a little bit. I think that looks good. And the next thing I'm going to do is make sure my skin tones are where they need to be. So I'm going to add a new node. Move these over. So next what I'm going to do is go to my qualifier and select my skin tones to make sure they are where they need to be. And to check that I'm going to use my vector scopes. Alright so here we go. Select my skin tones and now you can see the portions that I have selected. The gray parts are the parts that are not a part of this mask. And I'm going to feather it. Alright so now I'm just going to get my qualification to, to where I want it to be. Okay, so now I got my qualification where it needs to be. It selected other things as well, but that'll be okay. They can still kind of benefit from this. So what I'm going to do now is to go to my power window and select my skin tone. So we'll go here, zoom in, and as you can see by our vector scope right here, our skin tones are a little bit on the left of the skin tone indicator line and we want them on the right a little bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my color wheels my log wheels and I'm gonna just bring the offset over just a little bit all right so now that we got that let's remove this power window and remove this and let's see so if you see before it was kind of a greenish cast on the skin tone but now it looks more natural so that's before it's kind of it got a greenish tint to it and we just removed it there so now the last thing I'm gonna do is add like a color grade to it so I'm gonna add a new node just bring that over and Let's see, so what I want to do, I'm going to go to my color curves. 
I'm gonna go to my blue. I'm gonna push just a little bit of blue in the shadows. All right, I like that. But, so, as you can see, it is kinda affecting my skin tones as well, um, which is what I don't want. So let me fix that really quick. So how I'm gonna fix that is I'm gonna create a layer node. Okay, so now what this layer node does is it takes my qualification from node three and puts it on top of this node. So now any changes I make is only happening to the background and not her skin tones, which is exactly what I want. So I'll just reset this. Now I'm gonna push a little blue into my shadows. I think that looks good. I'm gonna go back to my log wheels. Push a little orange toward the mid-tone. And put my shadows about there. So we got that's before, that's after. I don't like that much blue. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just go back here, remove some of that blue. All right, cool. So now, as you can see, we got that to that. And I think that looks pretty good. I think that's a pretty good grade. So now what I would do is I would go to my clips and let's say we'll take this clip for example. So I want this clip to have the same grade as this clip. So with this clip selected, I'm gonna go to the color graded clip right click apply grade okay so now that is the color grade on this clip and what i would do is go back to this qualification here to just make sure that it is qualified correctly because the lighting and stuff has changed from shot to shot so you just want to make sure your qualifications are still somewhat where they should be and all right so there we go so now we have a much better qualification on this clip um, with only selecting her skin tone before the color grade and a little bit after the color grade with the bluish tint in the background. And that's how I would typically go about doing it. But as you can see here, my highlights are like completely clipped. And that is because I have to go back to my first two nodes. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna reset this node, well no. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go to my color wheels and I'm gonna just reset my primary color wheels. Then I'm gonna go back here, go to my waveform and reduce my highlights until I get my information back. And that seems to be pretty good. Then I go back here push my highlights up more and my mid-tones. So push up my mid-tones about there. Drop my shadows back down. And that looks a lot better. Just make sure my qualification still. Okay, so my qualifications are still good. And that's pretty much what I would do. That's how I would go about grading the rest of the clips. And there you have it. That's pretty much how I go about color grading my C-Log footage. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments or just contact me on social media. And until next time, man, I'm out.